This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of September. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay dry today, but increasing indications the weekend might get off to a wet start. Let's go in there and take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning. These were captured at the somewhat insane hour of 5 a.m. That's the Inverness Skycam. All is calm for now on Highway 280. It's clear. Temperatures are mostly in the 60s. That's the Jasper Sky Cam looking over toward the Walker County Courthouse as seen from the King Building. And the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam. All is calm. Got a flat ridge across the southern United States. The westerlies have shifted pretty far to the north. And temperatures about what you expect for this time of the year. We got mostly uh, 60s up on the board. Birmingham at 65. The cooler spots over in East Alabama. Anniston 62. But around the nation, very refreshing up in the northeast. 30s and 40s. Frost on the pumpkin, frosted freeze advisories in effect around the Great Lakes and northern New England. That's a sign of the times. Still parts of New Mexico under a flash flood watch, but overall things are calming down out there. Severe weather again, not expected today. Typically, you don't see a whole lot of severe weather in September and October. Now, here's the rain for the next five days. Numbers are coming up. This is valid through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. This has rain amounts of about three quarters of an inch to one inch over Alabama. And we could see a few showers tomorrow, but it certainly looks like the best opportunity over the next seven days will indeed come on Saturday, as you'll see. Tropical weather, Umberto is out there in the middle of the Atlantic. Ingrid is in over Mexico. And we've got a new disturbance that is over the far western Caribbean. Umberto Kind of splitting the difference between the United States and Europe. It'll be a post-tropical storm by the end of the week. Obviously, that's not going to bother us. Here's that new system in the Western Caribbean. That thing is awfully close to Central America. And uh, this will kind of behave like others. This will cut across Central America and Mexico, then coming back over the Bay of Campeche. And uh, uh, if anything forms down there, more than likely it comes into the Mexican coast again, where... Uh, you got to figure they've got some great flooding concerns with all the tropical action they've seen this season with these uh, tropical storms. Uh, many of the models ramp it up to tropical storm strength, and this would be the J storm, and it would be Jerry. Let's check the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid this afternoon at 1 o'clock at 500 millibars. Uh, upper high is over uh, southwest Alabama around uh, Mobile, part of this ridge across the deep south. So accordingly, the day should be uh, pretty much just uh, warm and dry. Highs mid to upper 80s for us today. And uh, again, with uh, a little moisture trying to move in from the east, I guess you can't rule out the chance of a shower, but uh, it is awfully small. And if any showers do form, more than likely they'll be down over southeast Alabama, down around Dothan. So today, pretty much like yesterday. Now, tomorrow, the uh, surface high is just south of New York City in Long Island kind of nosing in here from the east, and, and one of these wedge-type back door fronts will try and come in. And while that certainly looks uh, uh, dry, there could be a shower with that front tomorrow afternoon. So we'll mention the risk of a few scattered showers tomorrow afternoon, but obviously it's not going to be a big rain event. Thursday looks dry. Uh, highs should be in the low to mid-80s. Temperature's coming down a bit with that uh, surface high nosing in here. Here's Friday. We stay dry. Uh, looks like it'll be okay for the high school football games in Alabama, uh, at least most of the state. Now, we'll have to watch the northwestern corner. You can clearly see that cold front there at midday Friday, lined up from near Milwaukee down to about Lubbock, Texas. And then this is Saturday as we kick off the weekend. Pretty good support here. That's a good-looking uh, positive tilt trough coming in. And down below that, there's a surface load down around Mobile. And uh, goodness, the model is uh, trying to generate some pretty decent rain amounts around here. All of a sudden, with uh, totals anywhere from one half to almost two inches through parts of central Alabama. So um, that could be a relatively wet day as we start the weekend. Uh, of course, timing is everything. We've got some college football during the day Saturday. We've got some Saturday night. Uh, this could clearly be a setup where it could rain at any time, day or night Saturday. Uh, and then the rain would be ending from northwest to southeast Saturday night. And then Sunday we go dry. That surface lows over in uh, South Carolina and uh, should be a, a pretty decent day. I'm not so sure we get out of the 70s on Saturday with clouds and rain. Then Sunday, high should be around 80 with a good deal of sunshine and low humidity if this is right. 
And uh, there's Monday of next week. We are dry. Surface low is just uh, east of Cape Hatteras. And a week from today looks dry. So it looks like a pretty good rain event Saturday, followed by dry air Sunday into early next week. We'll go toward the end of the forecast. This is the end of the forecast, October 2nd. Eh, We've still got a 588 ridge over much of the southwest and south central United States, kind of keeping the jet stream north of us. Well defined shortwave uh, coming toward the Great Lakes. And down below that, that would be relatively warm. No really chilly air there with some risk of a shower if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. I'll be traveling today, so no afternoon video. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.